Hello, we're back, and uh, things look a little different as you can see. I've got this stuff around me, something I'm just kind of trying out to see how it goes. Might make it a little more interesting to look at, I don't know. There, we got our team here. I've uh, healed them up, so we can just begin immediately. Actually, we need to talk to these people. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. It's nice. That Bill. I heard he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Will he now? He's not above doing all sorts of things I've heard. Well, this guy speaks highly of Bill, and this guy speaks highly of Bill. I wonder what this guy will speak highly of Bill. Have you heard about Bill? Yep, Bill is sucking everybody's dick in this town. Or city, rather. Cerulean City? Or is it? Yeah, Cerulean City. Never mind. Why don't you go up to see? She's the only one that doesn't talk about Bill. Bill is totally banging this dude, and this dude, and this dude, and not her. Or her. But you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But let's start. Uh, we got the gym right here. Cerulean City Pokemon Gym. Leader Misty. The Tomboyish Mermaid. Yeah, we're not going to go face Misty right away. I don't think we're high enough level yet. I don't remember what level her Pokemon are. You're a trainer too. Collecting battling. It's a tough life, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's a hard knocks life. I'm not going to lie. We'll head down here. We'll buy some item. What are you doing? Slow bro, punch! No, you blew it again. Punch isn't a move. That slow bro is not Roman Reigns. You can't just tell it to punch everything out there. And spear the tree. Repel not only keeps p bugs away, it also works on weak Pokemon. Put your strength. Yeah, okay, that's nice. I want to put a repel and get away from you. Hi there, may I help you? Yep, we need. Ooh, super potions. Great, we should. Take a couple of them because if I remember correctly, we're gonna have a tough battle coming up now. Oh, we need more poke balls actually. Oh, okay. Well, we'll buy four and then I'll do. Yep, I'll ne never be back here. Do you know about rare candy? They don't sell it in shops. It makes me think Pokemon grow very quickly all of a sudden. I have a rare candy, don't I? Um. Oh, I do have a rare candy. Well, we'll. We'll keep it for now. I'm pretty sure if you use a rare candy, it removes all of the already earned XP from a Pokemon. So it's kind of pointless using it in, in the middle of them leveling up. Sorry, too much to do, too, uh, so much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back street? No? Okay. Uh, I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Um, you know, that's what kind of everybody does at some point. They get something new and they're like, Yeah, I've got this really cool new thing. I'm not going to use it. Like, I remember having these cool red shoes and I loved and I was like, Ah, oh, it's so cool. A bike is one million Poké Dollars. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, I remember having these red shoes and I was like, Ah, oh, they're so cool. Can't wait to not wear them because they I don't want them to get scuffed. And then of course I wore them and they got scuffed and don't know where they are anymore. It was years ago. Probably even thrown out, but you know. Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you have a. I'm not a skilled trainer, what? I just kind of wandered into Pewter City, you know, came into the gym, beat some kids, beat this guy who couldn't open his eyes, and suddenly he gave me a badge. I'm not a skilled trainer. What's up with you? I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder using. Oh, this is the guy who sells me drugs. Uh, yeah, I have an interest in berries. Why must you lie to me? What? How many berries do you have? Not a one. Can you get berries in this game? Oh, Berry Crush. Okay, it's some mini game. Uh, what are you doing here? These people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind the most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Really? I beat like four or five of them in Mount Moon. They're over that way, dude. Just go get them. No, you're just going to stand in front of that door. Alright then. Wobble head north. It's Kyle! Yo, Matthew! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I already caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you what I caught, Matthew. Oh, great. Well, I mean... I murdered his uh, Bulbasaur, so he can't have that anymore. Pidgeotto. Well... Oh, look at his levels! 
Oh no, we are under leveled by quite a lot. It's alright, Joey, you can do it. No, you can't. That was a critical hit, and it did like nothing. Uh, I guess Shell Shock's gonna have to come out. He's the only one close to the level that he is. I mean, Shell Shock can take anything. Ooh, maybe not. Shell Shock, come on! Don't die on me already. Oh yes, nice one, Shell Shock. Hit it with another water gun. Oh, okay then. Hey! No! I killed Bulbasaur! You can't have it back! That's cheating! I murdered it in cold blood! In Pilot Town! Do you have a flying move? No. Uh, I know you have a flying move, but you're four levels weaker than Bulbasaur. But apparently Kyle is like a necromancer and can raise his Pokémon from the dead. That's the only explanation I have for this. Because this is a Nuzlocke, when Pokemon faint, they die. I mean, when Pokemon lose HP, they die, they don't faint. Oh, I mean, maybe they faint and then they just like pass away in their Pokeballs, I don't know. Nuzlocke was never really explained in depth. Come on, BJ. Nice. Suck it, Bulbasaur, you're dead once again. Pidgeotto. Um. Pretty sure he was about to die to Shellshock, wasn't he? So hopefully Shellshock can take him out. If not, this is gonna go badly. Right, water gun. Oh, you're not faster. Yes, he missed anyway. Come on, Shellshock. Nice. Level 16. Sweet. I think he can evolve now. Or maybe it's 18. Uh, Ratata. Uh. We'll send... Hmm... We'll send Sharpie out. I was gonna send Pigu out, because he has super effective moves, but... It's Pigu, he's probably gonna end up dying to it, because this Rattata will probably have... Quick Attack, and kill Pigu before he can even land a single hit. So we'll make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, uh, Mega Kick, obviously. You look at Jigglypuff, you think Mega Kick. Oh, you missed. Um, Mega Kick again. I know you've got short legs, but you can hit it. Yeah! Oh, Sharpie, you're amazing! You one hit it! Alright, uh, your stats are pretty bad. Oh, disable. No, I can't be bothered to learn to disable. Sharpie's not learned to disable, good. And Abra. I'm pretty sure Abra will only have uh, teleports. So we'll send out Joey to do this. After all, he is the top percentage. His quick attacks can hopefully kill this Abra. Ah, yes, it can. Good. I was waiting for Joey to do like two damage to it, and I'd be like, oh, this is gonna take forever. But no, 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 Joey. Joey can do this. Look at that. Three quick attacks, and it's over. And I think that was his last Pokemon, actually. Joey learned Hyper Fang. Awesome. Yeah, suck it, Kyle. I just murdered all your new Pokemon. Can't raise them back from the dead. Shell Shock's evolving! And he evolved into something super weird looking. Alright, nice one, Shellshock. Hey, guess what? I went to build and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. I think he's world famous because he sucks everybody's dick in Cerulean City. Is that why you went to see him, Kyle? No? Alright, don't answer me. Run away. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, he agreed. Never mind. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plodding behind me, so here. I'll give you this as a little present as a favor. A fame checker? 
A chatty gossip like you, that thing's perfect. Hey, what are you seeing? Hey? No, come back! Where'd you go? Oh, whatever, we need to go heal anyway. After that battle, because we took quite a lot of damage and we have a lot of battles coming up. I'm I'm still pretty done under leveled, I'm gonna have to level these guys off camera. Maybe you know. Shell Shock Evolved, that's cool. We now have a pretty sick war turtle. Maybe that slow roll wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree. I think there's a way around it though. Uh okay. Thanks, kid. See right, see that over there in the original Pokemon red and blue, that's with the old school sprites. I thought it was an old English guard, you know, the ones with the big puffy black wigs. Because, like, the cave entrance kind of was the wig, and the guy stood there had black hair. So it kind of looked like an old English guard was guarding the cave. It looked... ah, oh. Happy memories. I, I miss being a small child playing old crappy... No, I don't. No, I don't. What am I saying? I don't miss playing old crappy games where you, the things had no backlights, you couldn't see what you were doing. Yeah, well, let's beat Nugget Bridge, Route 24. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Pretty sure. I mean, it's it's not like you're gonna have Pokemon around the same level as uh, Kyle there. Yep, look at that, a level 10 Caterpie. Suddenly, the game just kind of drops in difficulty. Where you, you, know, you have this battle against your rival, and it's like, oh god, I'm so underleveled and so underprepared for this. But you manage to beat him anyway because, you know, the AI's not great. Or, you know, because you're a Pokemon Master like I am. That's why I won. But, uh, yeah, you're going to have this tough battle, and then you, you know, go and face random NPCs, and suddenly they're five, six levels lower than your rival. It's like, oh, okay curb any sort of difficulty this game is having, you know, it's, it's super dumb, Pokemon is really dumb, I know it's a kid's game, but they do a lot of dumb stuff, like, when I was a kid, Pokemon was tough, and you didn't know what was going on, and it didn't feel like the game got easier as you went on, but I mean, nowadays with you damn millennials out there who need instant gratification can't handle tough games or you just you know go google like how to beat rival nugget bridge that's, that's pretty much what kids do nowadays but uh speaking of tough games actually i've been playing a lot of the original deus ex after the news of the new Deus Ex, Deus Ex Mankind, Mankind Divided. I, I love the original Deus Ex, like, I really need to record something and just, like, play for the first hour of that game and just talk about it, because it's so good. I mean, I've only ever beaten it once, because when I was younger, playing it, I was scared of certain things in the game. But, uh... Yeah, like, I I just finished a part today that I didn't even remember was in the game. And so I got to it and I was like, whoa, why why is this here? Is this in the mod? Because I have two mods installed. One of them uh, just updates the graphics. They don't look so 90s. I mean, you can tell the game is very 90s and it's very broken. <laughs> But that's like what the Unreal Engine was back in 90, I don't know, 5, 96 when the game came out. I don't actually know when it came out. I mean, I have the, I have the CD, I have the original CD that I bought it on before Steam was a thing. In a drawer behind me, I could take it out and look, but no. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I've been playing lots of Deus Ex and uh, GTA 5 because that finally came out on PC. and. I don't have a PC that would be able to run GTA 5, so instead I've been playing it again on the Xbox One, the all-in-one entertainment system from Microsoft. But uh, here's number three. I won't be. Yeah, sorry, I'm just kind of chatting over this. This is just five pointless battles in a row. They're not really interesting at all. But uh, 
yeah, so that's been a lot of my free time is Deus Ex and GTA 5. And uh, j before recording, like I wasn't going to record today, I was going to put off and do it tomorrow. But I was like looking at, I think I was looking at random Yu Gi Oh stuff, and I somehow got onto looking at the latest series of Yu Gi Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Act V, I think it's called, I don't remember. But, uh, let's look at how dumb that is. And then I was like, what, what, this is focused around pendulum summoning, what is pendulum summoning? I ended up looking at, like, the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu YouTube channel. And then, like, one of the videos I was playing of, like, these, like, ultimate gold packs where you get 15 golden cards with, like, ultra rares, and I was like, oh, these... These look so cool. You can get Exodia. You can get the original Exodia cards in the gold, gold name and it, like holographic and stuff. I was like, oh. So I spent lots of time, you know, looking at unboxing videos of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh golden packs and seeing the cards inside them. And I was like, I really need to buy some of this. And I was there looking on Amazon and like hovering over at the cart and like a big box of these things. So I could just open them. And I was like, no, I I I really shouldn't do this. I need to like stop. And I was like, oh I should I should probably record, this will keep my mind off it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's been my evening today. Is trying to not buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I never I never play Yu-Gi-Oh! I have two decks sat in my bookcase, one of them, well one's the Kyber Reloaded deck and one is the Yugi Reloaded deck that I bought to duel Kyle, because we both got super into Yu-Gi-Oh and he was out buying lots and lots of car Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I was like, oh I need a deck, so I went out and bought, wow Pigu, wow Pigu, are you serious? <sighs> What is wrong with you, Pigu? Like, why do you suck so much? Wow, that's like nothing. And now you're gonna die to a Nidoran. Ah, I'm gonna have to take him out. Uh, snap BJ. But, uh, yeah, I have two decks. Kaiba Reloaded and Yuki Reloaded. Uh, Oh, BJ! Oh god, I was distracted. I was looking at Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. Right, you're coming out, and uh, Scotty can come out in your place. But, uh, yeah, two decks. Oh no, I forgot he had a flying move. Um, it's right. We should be able to kill it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice one, Scotty. I mean, you're not really Scotty too hot anymore, you're not a worm. Nidoran. Yes, I'll, I'll switch. Go for Sharpie. Sharpie can save us. But, uh, back to Yu-Gi-Oh, because I'm in a real, real Yu-Gi-Oh mood right now. I just want to go out and buy a bunch... Oh, no! I want to go out and buy a bunch of... Yu-Gi-Oh! booster packs and just open them all. Like I don't even care what cards I get. I never duel. Like me and Kyle have duels. Um, what? I want to say we've duels. No, not twice. We dueled on during a trip to the Chester University. And uh, we were planning to go out one night and get drunk and go to like these clubs and stuff, but somebody we were with didn't want to do that because they were like dying or you know having a really bad week. And so instead we sat. Oh, Sharpie's dead! <sighs> well, I was busy talking and Sharpie died. The first death. God damn it. Um, 
And here I was like, oh yeah, these are pointless battles, it's no problem. I, I didn't even realize it was level 16, that's how like distracted I am right now. But I ah, will kill Nidoran around here. <sighs> Poor Sharpie. Best in peace, in peace. We will go to release you and finally... I don't want to say get rid of you, but that's kind of what happens. Oh, I need to... Uh, antidote. Last antidote on Pigu here. What a waste. Pigu, you got Sharpie killed. Because you couldn't do your job and kill things. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to heal you. Actually, I will heal you. I don't want more Pokemon to die. Ah, <sighs> well... BJ, you're going to go out in front for this. Because I don't think that this last trainer will have anything that will catch you by surprise. If not, Shellshock will be there to back you up. We'll finish Nugget Bridge and we will go bury Jigglypuff. Oh, Sharpie rather. I was really looking forward to using Sharpie as well. Oh, it's level 18! Oh god. Well, it's a good thing I put BJ out first. <sighs> Gust. Again. No! BJ! What the fuck just happened? Oh no! What was that? The manky heard I was talking shit about Pigu and it was like I'll show you a real manky and just murdered it. Oh right, we're not gonna we're not gonna risk it. Shellshock's just gonna do all the work for us here. What I'm I'm in shock here, what the hell? We just lost BJ now. God damn you, Ethan! Fuck you! Whoa! Too much! Fuck you! You just killed two of my Pokémon! You asshole! I did my best! I have no regrets! I do! I regret having battling you, you little... Ah, oh, right. Clearly, we're underleveled, so Shellshock's gonna have to do this last battle for us. Congratulations, UBR5 contestant trainers! You've just earned a fabulous prize! Hey, a nugget sweet. Do you have, like, a way to bring back my dead Pokémon, jerk? By the way, how'd you like to join Team Rockets? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokémon. Wanna join? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Come on now, join us. I said yes, let me join. I'm telling you to join. I'm telling you I want to join. Are you not listening to me? Okay, you need convincing. No, I don't! Let me join! What are you doing? Why are you battling me now? I've already lost two Pokémon. I'm like in the middle of grieving and you're like, hey, let's battle. <sighs> I really should have been paying more attention. Like, Sharpie died because I wasn't paying attention, I'll admit. Like, I was too busy talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. But BJ died by like, bullshit. Like, my Mankey seems to be the worst Mankey in the world and got Sharpie killed, and then he goes on and gets BJ killed. <sighs> well... No, we're not gonna switch. Shellshock's doing all of this. Water gun. Ah, oh, damn it, like... I don't even remember, it's been so long since I last recorded. I don't even remember if I have Pokemon in the PC to replace these guys. But I mean, lucky enough, we can capture one, two more Pokemon on the upcoming routes. So I mean, we can replace them with new guys. But still, like, ah, oh, BJ! He was so close to evolving, he was so good! Ah, you're good! Shut up! Jerk! With your ability, you'll become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity, don't let us go to waste. 
Shut up. Oh, man. Fuck you, Ethan! Alright, let's carry on. Yeah, PJ, man. Sharpie. <sighs> Just as I said, the game was not hard and they stopped any of the difficulty. We go and lose two Pokemon. Two Pokemon that I wanted to keep. <sighs> Move. Oh, okay, we got Placky and Wyvern, which I'm pretty sure I've spelt wrong. I still haven't looked up. But, uh, Sharpie. And BJ. <sighs> Damn it. Like, first look at Sharpie here. <sighs> Sharpie, you. When I got you in the grass, I was secretly super happy because I've never really used a Jigglypuff seriously before, and I was like, oh, it's in this locker run. I've got to kind of use whatever Pokemon I have. This gives me a chance to use you. And, you know, I, I taught you Mega Kick. You were supposed to stay around for a while. I mean, the stats here, they're not great, really. So it's no wonder you died, especially with 11 defense. But I mean, that, that really sucks. <sighs> Bye, Sharpie. <sighs> and BJ, oh BJ, you, you were supposed to be the reincarnation of Bird Jesus. You were supposed to last forever until the end of the league. And no, you died because some asshole monkey was trying to prove that not all monkeys are as bad as Pigu. Like, you didn't really have any good moves, I'll admit, you know. That's because you're a Pidgey, you know. When you get to Pidgey art, you're, like, super cool. Uh, stats. Eh, it's alright, I guess. But yeah, oh man. Third Pokemon we caught is now dead because Mankey wanted to prove a point. <sighs> bye bye BJ